Welcome to Keep Painting Those Miniatures. Today I am painting the three rotten bells from the crew box Shadows of Red Chapel with Seamus. Right or wrong, I started with these ladies first. I wanted bright colours and each model to look different. With that in mind, enjoy the journey. I made bases for each model. Um, they're a combination of putty made, made sort of tombstones and ten bark. I scratched some marks into the tombstones to make them look rougher and older. They look okay. I used wall filler putty uh, to create the sort of mounds of earth in the bases. Essentially it's just blob it on, sort of smooth it out and then you know use it for whatever you will. It provides a really good base. I started by priming the bases with Vallejo Primer Black. I put some scratches in the tombstones to try and age them a little bit. They looked very, well, new, I guess is the word. Um, so I scratched them and I also tried to put rip into them. Uh, it didn't really come through on the final, final sort of tombstone. I wanted the bases to look earthy, so I painted them with a coat of Minotaur Bark. The tombstones were painted with Vallejo Game Color Sombre Grey, then I inked them with Army Painter Ink Green. Finally, I dry brushed over the top with a coat of P3 Menoth White Highlight. The tan bark, which I hoped to turn into like a collapsed wooden thingy, uh, I painted with Reaper Golden Brown, then I used the P3 Menoth White Highlight to dry brush over it. I decided to prime the models with Vallejo Primer Black to start. Uh, I thought that would make the colours like darker, seeing as they're dead, but it turned out to be more of a hindrance. If I'd recommend for somebody else, I would really recommend painting them white, or at least a grey. The first model I painted was in fact the one I painted green, so I'm going to refer to it as the green one from here on in. I started with her clothing. I went with Minotaur Fresh Grass. I then painted her skin with Reaper Caucasian Flesh. I wanted her to be different. Other people had painted all their hair black. I thought, you know, you gotta have a blonde. So I went with Reaper Saffron Yellow. sort of mixed around with the gaps in her stockings. I tried to paint them all with the Caucasian flesh and then paint the raised areas with the, what I chose was Reaper Night Sky Blue, but I had a lot of trouble. I ended up just painting the stockings entirely blue and then refilling in the skin. There were some small highlights on the model. Um, I picked out the hair tie, the mouth, the feather, and tassels on the umbrella with Reaper Brilliant Red. I also, you know, smudged around the mouth more than I should have, but it ended up looking like she just, like, eaten brains, so I was fine with it. The umbrella rod was really sort of a mix of colours by this stage. I had a look at it and I thought, it's got to be drab, so I went with Vallejo Game Colour Somber Grey. I had a really mixed opinion of what I wanted the flesh to end up. I, I would have liked it green, but I didn't want it like bright green. 
I ended up going with Army Painter Ink Soft Tone on the skin. It made him look sort of dirty and ruddy, which is more, you know, good. I didn't think the dress was bright enough, um, mostly due to the black undercoat. So I ended up dry brushing it with Vallejo Game Color Livery Green, which is a really bright green. It ended up brightening up everything, which worked for me. And then to bring it down darker again, I inked the clothing with Army Painter Ink Green. Finally, I fitted her onto the base. Uh, it was uh, a little bit complicated, and um, I, I had trouble with all three of these models, but um, yep. The second model I painted was the blue one, hereby referred to the blue one. I started by coating her clothing with a layer of Minotaur Lagoon Blue. It's a bright blue, but on the black, again, comes out rather dark. Like all the models in this set, I painted her skin with a coat of Reaper Caucasian Flesh. I wanted her hair to be in contrast to her clothing, so blue opposite red? That's what I went for, plus, you know, always a sucker for redheads. So Reaper Brilliant Red it was. In the same vein, I painted the stockings with uh, Reaper Night Sky Blue. Um, I figured keep it the same throughout all the models. I picked out her eyes and the umbrella rod with Vallejo Game Color Somber Grey. I also used the red for the tassels on the umbrella. I figured keeping that sort of the same throughout all the models would be an idea. I kept the ribbon separate from the start of this model. Um, I wanted an entirely different color as the highlight. Um, I ended up going for Warlord Purple from Vallejo. Uh, that'd be game color. It was a good color and high contrast. Like the green, the green model, I ended up trying to bring out a stronger colour in the blue clothing. I ended up going with a dry brush of Vallejo Game Colour Electric Blue. Whatever reason, dry brushing it didn't work too well. It seemed to be very, I'm going to say pasty, and didn't really dry brush very well. Don't know why. I inked her pinkish bow with Ami Painter ink purple. And again, I inked her skin with Ami Painter ink soft tone. I then went and inked her clothes with Army Painter Ink Blue.
Affixing it to the base was a little bit of an issue. The pin I'd put into it, their feet, well, all the feet of these models, were really, really hard to get in place. I could only put one in, and they all ended up sort of coming off multiple times. So yeah, it was annoying. I then started painting the last model of the set, hereby referred to as the purple one. I started with a coat of Minotaur Ekimus on the clothes. I'm going to say Ekimus, it may not be that, but to me it's Ekimus. Once again, you guessed it, a Reaper Caucasian flesh on the skin. Followed up painting his stockings with Reaper Night Sky Blue. I painted the umbrella rod with Vallejo game color somber grey. Once again trying to bring out some contrasting color in the clothing, I dry brushed her clothes with Vallejo game color warlord purple. Again, just like the electric blue it didn't work. Skin was inked with Army Painter Ink Soft Tone. I inked her clothing with Army Painter Ink Purple. And now for something entirely different, the feather on a hat with Vallejo Game Color Squid Pink. I picked out her eyes once again with Vallejo Game Color Somber Grey. Her lips with brilliant red. Finally, 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 she was glued to a base. Again, problems with the pinning and... Ooh, uh, yeah, annoying. I feel like I did okay with these ladies. They were difficult to get right and I don't think they were super clean. The faces themselves I really are not fond of. The lines weren't good, the mouths weren't good. You know, uh, I suppose I didn't wreck them completely. Keep painting those minches, people.